back out to the shooting bench. It's August now. Uh, deer season is right around the corner. And uh, got the Rossi R95 out here again, 30 30 lever action. Um, I tested a, various different ammos with this rifle and shot several of them very well. And uh, one of the, my subscribers asked me if I had tried the lever revolution ammo out of the gun. And I, I hadn't because I couldn't find any at the store. Well, the store got the Lever Revolution ammo in now, so I bought, I got three boxes here of uh, the Lever Revolution that we're going to try today. See how they do it 50 yards and then uh, see how they do it 100 yards. Um, I got uh, the one box is Lever Revolution 140 grain, mono flex. Then I've got um, Hornady full bore lever revolution, 140 grain, and this is it's not a monoflex. It's a different it's a different type of bullet. So we'll see how they do. The GMX bullet, and then I got the lever revolution, 160 grain. That's the one I'm most interested in trying. See how it does. I shot my rifle shot really good with 150 grain, so I'm interested to see what it will do with 160s and 140s for comparison. So I'm gonna uh, I'll bring up here closer so I can show you the ammo and the gun, and then uh, we'll shoot 50 yards and see what happens. All right, here we are up to so you can get a closer look at the ammo. It says Lever Revolution. Lever Revolution, you see there, 140 grain monoflex. Here's what it looks like. You see it up close. It's got that red soft tip on the top. So that's that's what that looks like. Now this other one, this is 140 grain. It is called Hornady Full Bore. Also, you can see 140 grain. And they actually look the same to me. So it may be the exact same bullet. Maybe it's just a it's full bore. Maybe this one's just a little bit bigger or something. But you can see the, the two of them, they look almost identical. So we'll try those. And then here's the 160 grain. And it looks like the same thing too, but it's uh, 160 grain. So, and you can see the box there, 30, 30, 160. I'm gonna try those three. Here's a good look at the gun again. It's got a Bushnell trophy scope on there. I love this rifle. It shoots, shoots really good. Smooth action, good trigger. We're gonna shoot it and see what happens. All right, here's the target at 50 yards. See, I got an orange dot in the middle. I'm gonna shoot maybe upper right, one of the 140s. This one, 140, and I'll shoot the 160s in the middle. We'll see how they do. All right, here we are over the target, 50 yards. There's where the first one hit, and then the other two hit over here. I actually thought they would all group there. I have this sighted in with 150-yard ammo, and it's hitting dead on 50 and 100 yards. So the 140's a little high and a little bit right. I don't know if it's because the barrel's cold or what, but it did not shoot those first three very good. So what I'm going to do now just look down there's a snake land over here i don't know if you can see it or not there it is <laughs> um i'm gonna shoot the other 140s over there so we'll shoot those next
All right, here we are back up at the target. This is the second group of 140. This is the full bore over here. This was the lever revolution. You can see they both shot to the right. So that's only at 50 yards. If you remember when I uh, shot my other video, I shot the uh, blue box ammo and I shot three shots in the same hole. So that's not good at 50 yards. Hoping the 160 does better. So we're gonna try that next right here in the center. We're gonna shoot to 160. All right, here we are back at the target. That's the 160 grain at 50 yards. It's a vertical group, all to the right. All three of them shot to the right. And I haven't touched that scope since the last time I shot, and it was dead on. What I might do is get my uh, one box of ammo out that I know it shot well, shoot three just to see that something didn't move. But really, at 50 yards, they should have been on top of each other. None of the three of them shot any good. I'm not even going to bother shooting them at 100 yards because I don't like the groups at 50 yards. But I am going to shoot three more shots of a different ammo just to see. All right, I just shot three different groups, two with 140, one with 160 with the Federal. They all shot right. So I went in and got this box of Federal Blue Box. The last time I shot these, I thought shot three in the same hole at 50 yards. So I'm going to shoot three of these just for comparison, just to see if the scope moved or not. All right, I just shot three of the Federal Blue Box. There's one and there's two touching each other. The left to right's pretty decent. So you can see all these shot to the right, but the Federal is pretty much on where I sighted it in at. So scope didn't move. Just doesn't really like these ammos. I've got about four other brands. I got Winchester, Federal Hammer Downs, the Federal Blue Box, and uh, Federal Fusion, all of them shot pretty decent. So you can see, I don't think my gun likes to leave a revolution. It def definitely doesn't like the 140s. 160s aren't bad, but it's just a little bit to the right. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll get some other types of ammo, try another 100 yard test and include that one. but. For now, that's all I'm gonna do. Just uh, not happy with the way they grouped. This blue box, I said I have two touching and one right there. Right there's all three of the shots. And you can see these spread out, these are spread out, these are spread out. Don't like that. So, anyways, anybody that was curious about the lever revolution, out of my rifle, it doesn't shoot that well. Um, maybe out of yours, it might. That's the reason you do these tests. Some rifles like a certain bullet. I don't know what it is. They just, uh, that's why you try the different ones. But uh, mine seems to favor the hammer downs the best. And uh, that's probably what I'll stick with. So thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll see you next time.